NTSB just posted a preliminary report about the recent Tesla Model 3 crash in Florida and it does look like the autopilot was engaged. So let's go over some uh, findings that they had in the report and what does it really mean for Tesla and for the autopilot as you know you know model this Model 3 um, had uh, the latest autopilot software the latest autopilot hardware and I think overall it, it becomes a philosophical question so I definitely am looking forward to your participation in the comment section as well. All right let's tackle this issue right now. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, so this report came out uh, uh, today. Um, it's actually a two-page report. It's it's a preliminary report, and it kind of outlines all the facts that they, that they found. And, of course, uh, right now the biggest fact is that the autopilot was engaged at the time of the crash. Now, the it looks like it was the first time the autopilot was set uh, and it was set only 10 seconds uh, uh, before that so um, it looks like the autopilot you know the driver engaged autopilot and um, maybe this you know I, I mean I, I have to say that when I engage the autopilot I usually kind of um, either pay a lot of attention just making sure that it's the road it can handle or sometimes when it's on the road I know it can handle it's because I you know I want to do something and distract myself a little bit from the road so that might that that and I, I know a lot of people do that as well I think this is one of those kind of drawbacks I guess of the autopilot is where you know you trust it you, you know otherwise you wouldn't be using it and um, especially on the freeway on a straight road you know what can really happen well this can happen and it hasn't happened in a while I think there's only three or four cases where something really uh, tragic happened not to take away obviously this person died I don't know if I mentioned this already this person died uh, on the scene and I think it became a fourth the uh, autopilot related death um, but uh, the other thing that uh, part of the report was that uh, the person did not have the, the you know, Tesla did not sense the hands uh, of the driver on the wheel at all since he engaged the autopilot now there's a caveat here right because we all know I mean by we people who drive Teslas um, we all know that uh, lately more and more um, it requires a lot of pushing and pulling on the wheel for Tesla to even um, uh, establish that you have your wheels on uh, your hands on the wheel and uh, I have to say quite a few times where you know I was uh, using an autopilot and my hands were on the wheel but I would still get the message that they were not um, so in this case I'm not really sure if I can we can trust the the system to you know uh, say whether or not the hands were actually on the wheel now they weren't pulling the wheel hard enough for the system to notice them but um, that's still I would say not an indication now um, let me show you the intersection uh, where it happened and what actually happened and we'll talk a little bit about you know is uh, is it all worth it um, is it something that Tesla should uh, you know uh, uh, um, dial back on and re-examine or this is just a cost of the new technology and again it's a philosophical question I cannot answer it I can only present the two possible answers that I think um, are out there and I think how our uh, community and by our community I mean like sort of uh, you know European and American community have handled uh, these type of issues and these types of uh, new technologies uh, before that of course I want to quickly remind you that this video and uh, this show is sponsored by Byte and Chicago all-electric uh, SUV called Mbyte scheduled to come here to the United States and Europe next year don't forget to get yourself on the reservation list that's growing fast it only takes about 60 seconds to do so in absolutely zero dollars go to the description of this video to use that link or go to byton.com to reserve yours okay so um, let me th here's the intersection where it happened so apparently let me go a uh, full screen here apparently the truck was uh, pulling out of that uh, private driveway I think it's a factory or whatever um, from on, the, on your right and it was trying to make its way through um, through the road and I mean uh, obviously he didn't make it but you know big trucks sometimes do that um, from what the report says that the car has never attempted uh, to stop 
And so that kind of tells us that either the it basically tells us the driver didn't see it coming. Uh, there could be different reasons. Again, maybe this driver was trying to do something else, change a radio station or check his phone or whatever. Or there might be some medical issue also, right? Sometimes people, you know, have a heart attack or stroke. So I think that is something that's going to come up in a full report. And obviously that's what we um, should uh, wait for. Um, and also the car was going, I believe, about 13 miles above the speed limit. I think the speed limit was 55 and it was going 68 so 13 miles above the speed limit not horribly speeding but obviously it might have contributed um to to this as well so okay now tesla obviously uh they released a statement uh, uh condolences condolences uh but they also said listen there's so many miles a billion miles i believe or something crazy right now uh that that people driven uh, uh, on using autopilot and uh, the, uh, the the possibility of you being in a crash or dying are much less than uh, than if you were uh, driving a car without the autopilot engaged. I mean, some people challenge this, but to be honest with you, the technology is getting there where it's even probably now it's better than us, right? Because it's got more eyes, because it's got, literally it's got eyes on its back um, because of all the cameras. Uh, it can see better sometimes simply because uh, uh, radars just can see like that that's their job right it's because they're not seeing with vision they're seeing with uh, uh with waves and and we can do it as people um and of course uh you know uh autopilot doesn't need to check his phone or her phone i don't know if autopilot is a girl or not but anyway the, you know text messages often or gets distracted by by something else on the side of the road or the view so uh, you know, it, I, 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 it, the argument is is going to be harder and harder to uh, to defend that that uh, autopilot is not as good as as people even now. I'm talking at least about the one that that's that's Tesla makes. Um, now, but the bigger issue is this, and I, I just like I said, guys, j feel free to jump into the uh, comment section. But it is a philosophical issue. Do we allow? these people to get hurt some people to get hurt or die um, because a new technology gets tested that will save other people in the future um people some some people accused of elon musk just kind of uh, using uh, all of us the tesla drivers tesla owners as a quality assurance lab where you know they kind of test it all on us i don't know i mean I, I, I guess you can argue it from both ways. On one hand, no, of course they do a lot of testing before they release it. There are there are regulators that are watching over this, and obviously they have their own simulation and and, and test crew. But at the same time, this is how we do business, generally speaking. Definitely in America, you know, people, you know, uh, pharmacy pharmaceutical companies release a drug and they test it as much as possible. But a lot of times you don't know unless you see some corner cases, right? Um, same thing with food, same thing with toys, right? Like a, a lot of times the amount of testing that you, that you do just cannot sometimes predict this, these corner cases, you know, where, you know, the, the color of the truck and the reflection of the sky makes it, you know, look to the autopilot, to the cameras exactly the same as the sky. So they don't see the truck, you know, um, so the, I mean, to me, the answer is that's how we do business and we do sacrifice a lot of times, even our lives, uh, other people's lives too, um, to adopt or develop the technology that prevents more uh, uh, lives to be lost in the future. And again, I can't give you an answer. I can only tell you is that, you know, we can put risk more restrictions on this and then this technology will be harder to sell and harder to develop. Or we can say, yes, there will be a few cases where people will die, even though it's still safer, even at this point, but that will save so many more lives in the future. You know, let me know in the comment section. I'm kind of curious to know what you guys think. I think everybody's got their own kind of philosophy on this. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our VIP list uh, where we will be offering uh, a deal of the month. Actually, it's coming this coming Saturday uh, from Evanex. Um, pretty good discount. And of course, every uh, Saturday we offer an exclusive article that we don't cover on uh, this channel. So all you have to do is go to e4electric.com slash VIP and get on that list. All right. Looking forward to your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.